Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. In this lecture, we will learn the time scaling and amplitude scaling of the signal. This is the graph of sine x. If we time scale a signal, then it is either compressed or expanded on the time axis. And by amplitude scaling, we mean increasing or decreasing the amplitude of the signal. Okay, so let's understand it with the help of sinusoidal graph, sin x graph. Okay, so this is the graph of y is equals to sin x. You can see its roots are 0, pi, 2 pi. Okay, and I want to scale it on the time axis. So let's do this. Let's take another signal y is equals to sine 2x okay this is the graph of y equal to sine 2x in the white as you can see this has been compressed by 2 it's i have written here sine 2x and it has been compressed by 2 if i would have written sine x by 2 then it would have expanded by 2 we will also see that so you can see that uh, the roots of this sine x graph in uh, which is shown in a green line are n pi okay at 0 pi 2 pi and on the negative side minus pi minus 2 pi and while the roots of this sine 2x graph in shown in white are at pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 so you can see that uh, it has been compressed by 2 now let's uh, see the example of expansion of the graph here i will write y equals to sine of x by 2 this is the graph of y equal to sine x by 2 in yellow line okay you can see the it has been expanded by 2 i have written here y equal to sine x by 2 and you can see this yellow graph is of sine x by 2 has been expanded and its its roots are at 2 pi 4 pi as you can see here so this is known as the time scaling of the signal okay so now we will uh, see the amplitude scaling just to remove these graphs first and if i want to this is the this is the graph of y equal to sin x and next graph let's take uh, y is equals to 2 sin x this white graph is a graph of y equal to 2 sin x as you can see its roots are same its roots are at 0 pi 2 pi and on the negative side uh, minus pi minus 2 pi that is uh, n pi and uh, there is no change in the on the time axis it has neither been uh, expanded nor it has been compressed on the time axis but since it is amplitude scaling so the values has been doubled its amplitude has been doubled as you can see here uh, the green lines maximum amplitude is 1 its peaks are at 1 while of 2 sin x graph the peak is at 2 and minus 2 so its amplitude has doubled if i would have written 3 sin x then its amplitude would have increased to 3 you can also take uh, another example by writing y equals to half of sin x This is the graph of y equals to half sin x. So its amplitude has been decreased to half. This has been shown in the yellow line. Yellow graph is of y equals to half sin x. So its amplitude is its maximum are at plus half and minus half. Okay. So this is the amplitude scaling. So now we understand what is time scaling and amplitude scaling time scaling compresses or expands the signal on the time axis while the amplitude scaling affects either increases or decreases the amplitude of the signal on the y axis so in the next lecture we will play with other graphs till then bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made 
easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye